What's up people and welcome to this video guys. I know it's been a while, but I'm here now and in this video guys We're gonna be opening this and we're gonna be seeing what is in it Well, I already know but maybe you don't well, I guess you read the title so I guess you do know So I'm gonna be showing you because it's hard for me to show you on this camera So I have another camera right here So I can show you so we have the box right here let me just open it, kind of hard. So here we have it, look at that. Look at that. So it's called the Red Medic. This is a gaming phone. It's made by, I think the company is called Nubia. So let me see if I can get this out of this. No, I can't, okay. Maybe if we do like this. Let me see, okay, this was way harder than I thought. <laughs> Maybe, wait, hold up a second. Okay, so I think that's a bit better. So now I can actually gonna see here, hopefully. So here we have the phone. It's called Red Magic 3, okay? So it is a gaming phone. I have reviewed a phone like this before, and I'm very excited to review this one. But before we go ahead and jump into the phone, we're gonna be taking a look a bit more what is in the box right here. So here we have basically where the phone was. We're gonna remove that. And then we have these small boxes right here, which I think is kind of cute in a way, because basically you can see it's a small icon right there indicating that it's a charger in this and when we open it as you can see it is a charger in it and then we have another box right here which you can see it's some kind of a cord right there and then when we open it we have uh, this for the charger as well which is let's see it's USB-C I think it's called right there okay and I like that it's red I like that I've never seen uh, a charger being red like that before, so that's really cool. Uh, which makes sense because the phone is called Red Magic, so it just makes sense that they chosen to make it red. I, I like that, I like that. So here we have the phone, as you can see right here. Kind of looks like some kind of a shield or something like that. Um, this is like an LED strip, by the way. Which I think, let's see if I turn off on the phone. Let's see if we do like this. You can see, look at that. That's insane, this is a phone with freaking LED lights, that's insane. Here we have a fingerprint scanner, so if you wanna start the phone, just do like this. And the cool thing about this phone, which I have never seen on a phone before, which I think is actually, this phone might be first ever to have it, it actually has a built-in fan, like a fan fan, look at this. So as you can see right here, this is basically where it's sucking in cool, cool air. And uh, right here, on the side right there, is where it blows out air, which is just completely insane that it's in a phone. Uh, so yeah, it also has this thing right here, which I think is for like, uh, so you can attach some gadgets to the phone, which I think is pretty cool. But let's gonna start up the phone, and as you can see, this is how it looks when you start it up. And I'm just gonna log in, or whatever you wanna call it. And it says Red Magic Mars right here, background. As you can see, I have downloaded PUBG, which we're gonna be taking a look at later. But one thing which I'm gonna show you is this button right here and these buttons right here. And before I forget it, I will go ahead and have a lot of uh, specs down in the description if you wanna go and find out more about this phone. All of that will be in the description, okay? But let's gonna talk a bit about this button right here. What is the button? Well, it's a button to go and make this phone from, well, basically a normal phone to a gaming phone. So basically, when you switch this, it this is basically what happens. Just like that, okay? I'm not sure if you can remove the sound, I think it's kind of annoying in some way, but basically it turns the phone into a gaming phone, and then you can have different games, right, like, as you can see right there, and just add them. And the cool thing about this is you can actually gonna change settings for each game. I'm not gonna be sure how you do that, but you can do it. Here we have the fan feature. So here you can see, you can actually gonna switch the fan, how rapid you want it to go. And basically what this fan is, is made to make the phone co cooler, so you want, it won't get overheated, and you won't, you won't get those sweaty fingers when you're playing some PUBG. So you have intelligent adjustments, basically it, it adjusting the fan by itself, depending on how hot the phone is getting. But yet, then you also have rapid cooling, if you really don't want the phone to get cool, you just go and switch it off. Obviously this will going to use more battery, but it's really cool that it exists, okay? That you can also gonna turn that off. Then here you have some basics, like for the, the LED lights right here. As you can see, this is how it looks right now. And then you can gonna switch it around basically however you want. 
uh, which is really cool. We also have uh, uh, constant brightness protected, so it basically has the highest brightness at all time. Here you can see you can play at 90 frames per second, which is really cool. We also have 60, and then we have auto right here, which is really cool. And then also a cool feature, if, if you swipe like, like this, you're also gonna get a lot of different features right there. You can see auto mode, a 4D shock, touch buttons, and the touch buttons are these ones, which can interact with games on, which is really cool. Um, then we have the fan right here, block messages, and just a lot of cool things. Basically, when you're in gaming mode, it basically turns off all the notifications, which is really good when you're playing a game because you don't want your mother to call you in the middle of a match because that might go ahead and ruin the entire game. Another cool thing, uh, we're gonna be jumping into the PUBG very, very soon, so I can gonna show off these buttons. Another cool thing which this phone has is the audio jack right there. I'm not sure if you can see it, but you can gonna plug in your headphones. Uh, or whatever you have into that and yes I know that you can't really go and see it but it is right there so let's gonna start some PUBG and uh, let's gonna test these things out so basically if you have this phone and you want to go ahead and add in those buttons basically what you do is swipe like this you press this touch button thing so as you can see quick turn off you can turn it off and turn off like turn it on and turn off like that is really really quickly Start setting, and now you can go to see that we have this thing. Just click here, and now you can place these wherever you want. So, for example, if I want to, it's going to place this right here. And now, when I press up here, it will go to interact with that, as you can see. Same thing up here. So, let's actually going to actually fix this. So, it's really, really simple. We're going to controls right here. Customize, and here you can see we have a shooting button right here, and we have an aiming button right there. So, it's going to do like this. Touch buttons, and I'm just gonna put this one on that, and I'm just gonna put this other one on the scope button right there, and it's done. So now you can just gonna remove that, they are saved. And we, well, obviously, we didn't do anything here, so we can just exit out of that. And then let's go into training ground right here. So now you can see every time I press up here, you can see my guy right here is punching, and it's so you know, it works so well. Let me go ahead and get the gun right here so you can see me scoping as well. So as you can see right now, we did put the touch thing on the scope right there, so every time I touch here, let's see if it works. He aims, look at that, and then we shoot. And it's so, you know, it works so well as well. Look at this. Right, listen to this. I think that is really, really cool. It's basically like you have air triggers, you know, the things which you can buy, which you put on your phone, but it's built in on the phone. You can turn it off and on if you wanna. It has, you know, this fan. It's, it's just really cool that now, nowadays we have phones made for gaming and it's just really insane. I think it's really, really cool. You know, it's really simple to access the settings by simply just swiping like this. Now, I, I'm not sure what I clicked. You can also go and access your brightness right here. Go and turn up the, to max, turn it down. You know, oh Jesus Christ, it went very dark. <laughs> you can also, when you're in these settings, you can go and see the the temperature of the phone, as well as the CPU and all of the features about there, which is really the same that you can go and see that on a phone, which I like a lot. But guys, that's basically all for this video. Comment down below what you think about this phone. There will also be a link in the description for the phone if you want to check it out. But I'll see you in the next video. As always, thank you for watching.